uh, Daryl Williamson, among others, and, and what they think. And we're about to hear from uh, uh, the 100 meter champion, the U.S. Olympic trials in Eugene, Oregon, and former Baylor great Trayvon Bromel, who is. Uh, it's very late at night, and Trayvon reached out to me, direct message on Twitter. And, man, this is a great, great thing. We've had a couple of comments from his press conferences the last week with Gatorade and others. Trayvon, thanks for your time. I know it's late. Thanks for your time. Congratulations. How do you feel right now, man? Oh, no, I feel good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be, be back running. What has it been like? What has this been like for you to get back to the elite level after all you've been through? Uh, it's just a testimony, you know, just um, just trying to represent something bigger than myself. Will you remember the moment that you first felt like yourself again when you felt completely healthy and you went, oh, there he is? Oh, uh, well, like I, like I tell people, it's a transformation phase. Uh, that Trayvon back in 2016, he's long gone. It's a, it's a new and evolved and more mature Trayvon Brumel. So uh, I'm just happy to be in this skin. Trayvon, how, I mean, I think I'm asking an obvious question here, but how important has your faith been uh, throughout your journey uh, to get to where you are now? Uh, faith is always important. Uh, it's my, my source of energy and my stronghold. That's, that's, that's key to my existence. You know, we played uh, a feature with you and Raven Saunders uh, from Gatorade about a lot of things that you've dealt with and things that you've been through and all that. Where did that come from for you to, to keep from being any kind of a, a statistic or getting lost in the shuffle? Where did that come from? Uh, just my day-to-day -day drive. Um, just wanting to be better, really. You just heard, and you may have seen this, Michael Ford, who just joined us a second ago, is now the new track and field coach at Baylor. He's been around for a long time. Your thoughts about the, the selection of Michael Ford? Man, I'm I'm so, so very proud. Um of this choice uh he's a hard-working man uh he's like as everyone know he's more he was more than just a coach to me he's more than just a coach to me he was a father figure to me he definitely uh helped me with much in my life uh so to see him blessed with this opportunity it is it, it's, it's so humbling it's so amazing uh, i'm happy for him and i know that he's going to bring something different to, to to baylor for track and field um I commend all those who came from came before him, uh, and I'm just ready to see what he does. Um, a while back, when the decision was coming up, I like I, I meant everything. Like he he gets this baton, I know he's going to do something great as a head coach. Uh, I'm just happy to be able to be close to him uh, to also feel like I'm a part of this because like it's it's something that he well deserves. Like he works hard day in and day out. Uh, he put forth effort to have this strong relationship with his athletes to make sure they reach their best ability. Um, and I feel like he has all the, the characteristics and attributes to be a great head coach. What's it like right now as you're waiting for the Olympics? Are you getting antsy? Are you getting excited? I mean, you've got still, what, uh, 10, 11 days or so before you, you've got to start and then uh, whatever your events happen to be. But are, are, you, are you getting pretty antsy? Uh, I don't I, like people who know me know like I'm not the, the excited type person. Uh, what I do is for a purpose. Um, and I'm just happy to be a part, uh, be a vessel to be able to fulfill that. Did you just run earlier today? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, so British Grand Prix in Gateshead, and uh, he ran uh, in that. So uh, how'd that race go? It looked like it went pretty well based on what I'm reading here. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, everything was it was smooth. It was. Uh, preparation like i've been telling everyone these two meets is just trying to get my legs moving um at the trials and just get ready for tokyo well yeah you had the u.s olympic trials and then you had monaco and then today the one craig just brought up as well yeah is it do you when do you taper off do you do that because clyde hart we had him on last week and he's not a big believer as you know in like uh, ramping up you just stay where you are what's the schedule now for you I just train. That's that's the main focus. Trayvon, what is it like to – you've done it before to be an Olympic, uh, Olympian, a U.S. Olympic uh, a player, st sprinter, athlete to represent this country? Um, It's it's a great honor. Uh, I can represent, like I said, something bigger than myself, but I'm bringing something different to the sport um, in this Olympics. So, like I said, I just, I just can't wait to deliver this message. Three Baylor athletes are in the Olympic Games. Casey Lightfoot, 
Paul Walter, you know Will London the third, obviously as well, and yourself. What does that mean? Uh, we're just ready to go there and represent. Um, our main focus is to go out there and, and run and compete to our best ability. Trayvon, uh, I got to tell everybody, what time is it where you are right now? Um, it's 11.31. 11.31 p.m., and you reached out to me. I can't thank you enough. We appreciate you, what you represent, and good luck. God bless you, and thanks for your time. For sure. Thank you. Trayvon Bromel, U.S. Olympic uh, trials champion, the 100 meters. How about that, huh? Man, mm -hmm. and, and that's a star right there. And I, I wish we, I wish I would have remembered, Paul, to bring up the day he committed when he was a kid from Florida and yeah. we had him on the show. Yeah. He was such a, just a very positive, he wasn't cocky, but he knew what he could do when he broke I, the, 10, uh, the 10, 10 flat as a high school kid. First one ever. By, by the way, uh, the biggest news of this is that Smokey learned that there's an app called WhatsApp. Yeah, I know. Yeah. The, not the what's up app the whatsapp no, i didn't know what that it's meant. all yeah i mean you could tell right there from just listening to him he's pretty no nonsense he's, he's locked, locked in, in and yep. you know i'm sure he's tired of answering questions at this point and you know kind of saying the same thing but uh you know it clearly you asked him about michael ford and his whole demeanor uh mm -hmm. changed but yeah i'd imagine it's i mean he just ran earlier today Won that race and, you know, uh, building up for the Olympics. So we'll see how he does. But it might be the last time we talk to him, he goes off and wins a gold. You're really going to have a hard time trying to get a hold of a 100-meter Olympic gold medal champion. Uh, but, hey, uh, he's he's out there representing, like you said. I mean, don't forget, Brittany Griner's also over at the yep. Olympics. There's actually four Baylor athletes, but uh, three in track and field. So pretty good. And, um, you know, obviously a rave review for Michael Ford. So as I have the screen, we're here on the set, the console. We'll have John McClain in the next segment. I'm on the set. And we're in the middle of the Mac Rhodes interview. And I didn't have my email up, but I saw the announcement of Michael Ford as we're winding down Mac Rhodes and able to kind of gather that and get his comments. And then I just happened to have a couple of direct messages on Twitter. And one of them is from Trayvon. I've been trying to get in touch with him for quite some time. He's kind of busy. So that was awesome to get him on the same day and have him comment on Michael Ford as well. So how about that, adding them both to the 5 o'clock hour. Coming up next, John McClain, Houston Chronicle, and then Paul's Top 5. This is Sikkim 365 Radio. Pioneer Steel and Pipe, heavy-duty building supplies, equipment, whatever you need, pipe and steel, metal, and much more. And they'll deliver it, unload it for you wherever it might be, whether it's a commercial site or even if it's at your ranch or home, wherever it might be. Since 1943, 1943, Pioneer Steel and Pipe opened. Locations in Bryan and Waco, new location being built, the facility, it's going to be unbelievable, uh, at Loop 340 and 12th Street. Pioneer Boys has two things. Two, that, uh, to me, every business, if you have these two and you do them right, then what the heck? One is great product. But that's not the first most important thing is customer service. Everybody says it. Not everybody does it. Pioneer Steel and Pipe has been doing that since 1943. You cannot, you cannot stay in business no matter how good the customer service is or how great the product is without both being there. And they have both, and they've had both since 1943. Pioneer Steel and Pipe, heavy-duty building supplies.